Welcome back, everybody, to this game known as Minecraft All the Mods Volcano Block, where today we're actually not even surrounded by a volcano this time. Well, I mean, <clears throat> outside we are, just not in here. We're safe in this brick, well, not brick, reinforced stone. I almost said brick stone. That makes sense. Uh, but now, so, we got the reactor up and running to its fullest potential after I um, blew up a million lines. Um, no joke. Well, I wouldn't say a million, but I would definitely say around, like, 200 or so lines trying to figure out why it's just not working why are these glass cable lines not work oh what is going on so the problem was is the glass cables can only hold up to i think ah what was it, it was like 64 or something like that i yep that's exactly what i do i forget exactly what it is it's only like a certain amount of stuff per thing uh if you go into cables it only holds up to uh, 512 where this outputs when turned on is like 1500 so yeah, they wouldn't work. The thing I really wanted are the super cables. And the problem with the super cables that I'm finding is we need polished gold for the super cables. And we need alcohol for the super cables. For the gold to go into that. And the problem is I can't, for the life of me, get hops to grow in our garden. I made a garden over where the, the create place is. And it's just, I can't get them to grow. I am really bad at crossbreeding and I can't figure it out. So I just, just went off and I said, I'm good. I'll just, I'll just use the aluminum cables. So we got these ones, and they are actually well here. Well, so the super cables only go up to eight 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 thousand one hundred and ninety two. They're a block of one thousand before loss, so they're really good. And the these are what we really have the plasma cables, but we, that's not happening for a while. Heck is that? Aluminum. Here it is. The aluminum cable can deal up to eight thousand for a constant loss, though. So it is constantly losing energy throughout the whole thing, so it's not good. So, but again, it's it's all we got, so. We gotta deal with it! So, it comes out through here, and I wasn't even attempting to shove it directly into the ESU. That was not happening. So, it's going through an HV transformer. Uh, again, through the cables into... I'm just gonna use these cables from now on, because what's the difference? They actually look cool, I think. I like I like, I like, like the way they look. They make it more... real, Not realistic. Well, I guess realistic technically, but I'm just saying they make it look interesting. Going into this ESU, and it's kind of full. It gets full very fast by the way and well it's not super fast like i really want it to be but fast enough fast enough that's all that matters so uh it goes into the csu so i have it turned down to the show it does uh redstone behavior so it emits if half or less than half so once this gets to half it'll turn on this redstone signal and then the redstone signal will go to the, uh, the redstone link for create create is really good by the way just just let anybody know that uh, if you didn't know that it goes into this one which when it receives a signal it flips the reactor on, so the reactor will flip on when it's a half. Which would probably not be good, because it would turn on and off whenever it... It would just keep freaking out back. Yeah, whatever. I'll come to that road when it comes to that road. I don't really care. Uh, it doesn't... shouldn't matter. Turn back on and off. It shouldn't. So, uh, yeah, it shouldn't matter. Yep. I want to configure this a little bit better to make it run more power more efficiently. But this is the best we got for now, because I still haven't figured out how to do this thing. And I really have no idea what to look it up. Because every time you look it up, it always shows, like, really, really old ones. So, like, back in, like, 112 era, like, uh, videos and stuff like that. So I can't find it, or I'm just really dumb at finding it. So, yeah, that's that's about it. So I also added more overclocks to this thing, and it's a pain. I may have used a chalice and had to make a new one, so that didn't work out so well. Because it does actually de destroy the chalice and use it, so that wasn't good. So we have a decent amount of stuff here. So we have 12k on these and uh, 443 magnets, because it still takes forever regardless. We actually had a problem with coal. We actually had zero coal. Yeah, we don't have that problem no more, just saying. Uh, mm, I added a couple more seeds over there. A couple by, like, six more. And, uh, yeah, we don't have no coal problems anymore. So we don't have to run into that problem because we'll still be using coal later, I think. I don't know. We're still working on it. So what I was going to do with uh, how this is going to work. So this seems to be running off fine off of battery power. I said battery power. Well, it is battery power, but off of... Um, Whatever you call this, uh, solar panel. I don't know why I was having trouble. With this. <gasps> solar panel. So, I feel like this is, should be fine in here with this. So, I'll probably bring this. I'm gonna bring this line into here. Don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna be for this. It's probably gonna be on this side, anyways. Uh, probably. And I should have put this on the opposite side then. Oh, now it's gonna bother me because I'm gonna have to drag a line the entire way across over to here. The reasoning for that is I did have these, uh, the recyclers for reasons. We wanted scrap for stuff. I'm geared to this now. 
I saw, uh, so, but we want to start working on the, I don't know about the plasma fire, that might not be right yet. Uh, that's questionable. I just put that there to make it, just so we had it. But, we are going to be making the mass fabricator. And the mass fabricator allows us to get, whoa. <laughs> it allows us to get UU matter. And it takes 7,000 EU to make one UU matter, so that's a lot of stuff. So that's why that, that the, um, I almost said the generator, but the reactor is going to be powering this basically alone. So I was kind of thinking not even putting it over with that, but I kind of want it in this room so like it can be attached to the applied logistics network a lot easier. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but I, I don't know. I kind of like it because it makes it look prettier in here. It, it, it kind of. Again, I'm sorry about the terrible building skills I have, but it's what we got. What we can deal with. So let's see here. So we want to make a mass fabricator. So what do we need to make a mass fabricator? Well, the thing is with this, craft unavailable items. We have everything it makes, it's just got to waiting for it, is the problem, so. Yeah, that was really the problem, because it just takes a little bit of stuff here, because this stuff, uh, was it just, it's just a stabilized core, stuff like that, so it's not like it's that hard, it's just time-consuming of waiting for it to craft, uh, some of these, and I also, are waiting for this too, I see too. I found out this thing, uh, so use, I was trying to use the glow, glowtronic crystal, because it's the highest one we have for now, as a battery, because I assumed it worked that way. I can't get it to work. I right clicking, I'm hitting alt. I'm, pu I'm pushing like, all kinds of buttons. Like I even looked up the configs for IC2. I don't know what I'm doing, but I thought it would work for this. I even put it into the belt slot where it says, and like I push buttons and stuff too. It doesn't work. I even like it just doesn't want to work. I thought it worked that way, but apparently I'm wrong and it's really bad. And it was kind of using it so I can have the uh, the helmet, the boots, and the pant and the pants, and then the sword also recharging on constant, but. I just can't seem to get it to work, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that at all. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of know what I'm doing. Just me being dumb, but yeah. So, okay, here we go. So, here we go. We got the mass fabricator, so I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to put it on this side. I'm going to have to put it on this side because it's not. If I can't, if I don't do it, it's going to bother me. Just, d no, don't put it over there. Look away. Look away. No. I want to put it over here, though, really badly. I've got to put it over here. But it just takes up so much room, and I have more room for more machines of these. Oh, we're putting it over here. I did it. I can't. It cannot be moved now. It can't be moved. I'm curious. What does this do? Does this actually like? So that's the reason why I wanted to do scrap was one of these reasons right here. Because uh, well, actually, there's another reason for scrap. What was it again? I wanted to do something with it. I wanted to use it for oh yeah, fertilizer stuff like that. Because I was doing the seeds, and then that whole thing just got uh, thrown down the drain. So I don't feel like doing it now. Okay, so we're gonna have the uh, insulated cable. <laughs> Look at that sick cable. Oh, yes. Okay, now here's another problem. Uh, Is this going to blow up? You know what? Let's take the chance and find out. Let's do it. Let's take this chance. <laughs> what in the world is this monstrosity? Uh, but the problem is it loses power every... So here's the problem about this. It does lose power Every block it does. No, what? It doesn't matter. Let's just go with it because it looks hilarious. I want, I want the super. It was um. <clears throat> it didn't. It didn't like that. Hey, how's it going in here, everybody? Go doing a good job in the working factory. Who oh, blew up the machines? All right, you know what? Actually, probably exploded. It was probably the reactor uh, planner over here. Um. So let this be a warning to anybody trying to do this. Um. Make sure you downgrade the power a little bit, because when you just plug in a very high voltage thing into a very low voltage machine, stuff like this usually happens. And you want to grab, what you want to do is you want to grab yourself an EV, is it EV? No, EU. You want to grab yourself an EU reader, because then you can see how much power is actually in there. It actually doesn't show, because there's no power actually being run to this, is there? That, that makes sense, actually. Yep, that would that would make sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? But uh, yeah, just, just let this be a little bit of a warning. Don't plug the machine directly into your other machine without at least, you know, going back a little bit because things like this likes to happen. Um, this is problematic. I need to make. I don't really care about the reactor planner that I can care less about. Uh, but I need to make another one of these now. Uh. This is unfortunate. Uh, I meant to do that, by the way. I just. I thought it would be cool, you know, show off a little bit of machinery, yeah, just technical skills, showing off the technical skills of don't plug, don't do what I just did. 
Don't ever do it. Okay, so to not be like me, make sure you always have your EU reader on your hotbar at all times. Because if you hover over something with it in your hotbar at all times, it tells you the max input is a 512 EU, consumes 512 EU, a tick, and then your HV transformer is a max input of 2000. 48 and a max output is 512 which is exactly enough for this and then a max output of this machine is 2048 exactly so you get where i'm getting with this uh i'm stupid that's exactly what this is i didn't pay attention and i'm done so now with that we now actually so these k oh and right here energy laws uh well not energy laws energy limit is 512 so these cables will in fact work for this I could have put the cable on that side then. I could I could have put the cable on that side then. You know what? I'm actually going to move it, then bring the cables and use that for that side. You know what? I'm going to do it real quick. Yeah, I, I made a great mistake. Um, I may or may not have broke it again. Again. No, and I wanted to back by one. Oh, you know what? I'm not moving it sound because it's broken. It'll break it again. You jerk. No, right there. No, it's because the thing is in the way. Is it in the way now? Is it? Ah, thank you. Okay, so now with that, we can actually use the glass cables and... Actually, no, what did I do? What am I doing? I wanted to go across the room, up and over, up and over, like this. Uh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> how, that, how that does it? Actually, it kind of does, because I didn't really want it like that. Uh, so there we go. I kind of want it like the other ones, how it's across the ceiling, and it's not... Ah, you know what? Just, just go like this. Just go like this for now. Just for now. So that, and then no, it's gonna bother me if I don't actually fix it. So we're gonna go like this, and then go one bar above, because I want like I don't want to put like a ceiling almost in a way. And there's our mass fabricator. And oh, this is gonna take so much power. This is gonna be incredible. How much power is this consumed? Is it well? I'm assuming it's gonna make more power than it can because the uranium reactor thing is not on yet because it won't do it until it's about half. But it's about, what, 7 million? I think it was 7,500,000 to make one, so... I think there's about this that. Uh, almost certainly I'm making two. I, if you look, thinking I wasn't, I'm, I'm definitely making more than one. I just wanted to see how it goes for now. Especially power lines, like how bad it's going to drain our power because of uranium reactors on. But it's actually doing decent. So it looks like it's... Wait, no, actually, that's a good point. It tells us right here. It consumes 512 at a time, so... That's, the reactor actually makes triple... Of what this is actually producing, I don't know, wait, kind of not exactly triple, just just a little under triple, I guess you want to call it. So we can actually have two of these, and it wouldn't be a problem at all. With me saying that, I'm going to actually do that now. Uh, <laughs> I really want to get some other things, so that'd be really nice. And this thing can be directly inputted with uh, 2048. <laughs> it can be directly inputted. So wait, I just realized something. So this can be ESU. Where's my ESU at? ESU. So this can can be max input of 2,800. So this thing doesn't even need the um. I like this. I like this EU reader all. So this thing doesn't even need the HV thing over here directly pumped into it. So they can actually be pumped directly in with that, and it'll probably go a lot faster. I don't know what I'm doing this for. I'm 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 an idiot for the every time. Every time, every time I just I just make mistakes and then so this should be able to get directly put in there because output is well input I mean it's outputting that but wait is this yeah ESU I was like wait a second don't do this maximum input and maximum output is exactly the same and is it max the reactor can only do you know, 1500 watch just just watch it break everything I wouldn't doubt it honestly but there we go we have this and then while we wait for the other one to be made did it make it. It probably made it. I just probably wasn't paying attention. I don't know where it goes. Where did it go? Uh-oh. Hello? Hello? Oh, there it is. I didn't make it. Uh... Yep, right here's fine. And with that, we can just add a second one. I am not going to do that. And there we go. Now we have two mass fabricators. I should put them at the exact same time because this is actually about to be a really annoying. I'm offset and off of like this. But we have two ESUs, and we also have our self our reactor when it turns back on, and it should be able to power both these perfectly fine and not have a problem at all, except for the turning on and off of it every time. I can already imagine that's going to be not a problem at all. So, while we wait for this, let me hook up something to put it back into the system like the other things. And there we go. Our first UU matter has been got the pink blob. Oh, my God. 
So now that it's hooked up like this, I'm putting it into there. So now I can automatically go back into the system without any trouble. So now I can just, as soon as it's done, it goes in there directly. So with that being said, what I'd really like to make right now is I see two. I would like to make a precision wrench, and hopefully I doesn't have that problem of, you know, breaking every two seconds. So for the precision wrench, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. I want to do the bottom one here which involves an iridium plate, which an iridium plate requires four iridium ore, which requires so much E, or UU. Why does this game hate me? You may ask. I, the world is, the question is, I have no idea. Well, with that being the thing it is now, why is there a fully charger? I don't even want to know. Uh, with that, so I guess I'll wait for some UU. In the meantime, I'm waiting for UU to be done anyways. We have some other things to do, and no, it does not involve the plasma fire. Not until we upgrade the uh, reactor, and I have a little bit of our understanding, and we'll start doing that. Right now, we can start worrying about other things, and that thing being the uh, alchemistry, so we can start working on, of course, that mod, because it's needed in the future for the um, ultimate craft of the, the star. You need something in here, I forget what it is, but we also need it for our better ampli amplifiers, so... I mean, we don't actually do, but the reasoning behind it is a lot better. What is this? Oh, jeez. But it's just better to use uh, potassium nitrate dust. Wait a second here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we still need it regardless. Okay, that makes sense. And we still, no matter what, we still need it. Okay, well, I mean, I know what our plans is. We still gotta do, again, we still gotta do that mod no matter what, because it does require us to do it later in the future, but... I have an idea of using seeds. It makes it so much easier. So let's get some stuff done, and we'll find out. All right, let's start off this unknown journey by, I'm assuming, you want to dissolve her. I assume that's like the lowest of low. Are you joking me? Good enough. There we go. Wait, no, we need four. We need eight because we'll need it for... Did I make an extra one? I don't actually know. If I did or not. I did not. How amazing. How amazing. So put that in there. We'll grab ourselves... Stop it. We'll grab ourselves a dissolver. Grab ourselves a dissolver. We'll grab ourselves it. Did I... What did I do? <laughs> we'll grab ourselves the combiner. Uh, we'll grab ourselves a compactor. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making everything at this point. I'm making it all because I'm assuming it's needed. I don't know if it is or not. We'll find out, though. Atomizer and a liquefier. And the liquefier... All right, you. You're really really funny for this one making me do all this extra work for nothing okay so now we have all this we'll also need to grab a point so we'll grab a point okay okay wise guy tell me what to do in this game make it real funny huh think you're real funny you're kind of funny all right so grab that we'll grab our cable and then we'll grab some cables and we'll go do our own thing nice thing about not doing a planner, uh, I see two things right now is we don't have to worry about stuff blowing up. We don't have to worry about, uh, what do you want to call it, the, um, um, the EU power. I couldn't remember the EU power. Where this mod, you can just use, you know, better stuff like, ah, uh, better power, stronger power. And it's all combinable. So we'll grab that. We'll shove down our flux point, you know, just do the normal thing with the flux point, throw that down, and then we'll grab ourselves our dissolver, I assume. I assume the dissolver, here it is, input, output, so it can be input and output, and pause at the same time. So, for the thing we need, we need to grab ourselves, uh, was it saltpeter? Saltpeter? Saltpeter, uh, no, niter, uh, potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate is a form of potassium nitrate. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Potassium. Okay, how far does this rabbit hole go? Hold on. No. Y no. Y no. Yes. Okay, there was something here. It was niter, and that would be mercury sulfite. So I know there was an easier way to do this. Right, d red dye. Yes, it was like this. So it was red dye. I know we had more of this laying around because I was using it earlier. So we'll throw this into dissolver. This thing is slow. That's nice to know. So we'll get ourselves mercury sulfide. The mercury sulfide can be put into, what is it, the dissolver? And then turned into sulfur, and then the sulfur can be put into... What are we doing again? <laughs> what are we doing again? Uh, you dissolve this, and then this can be put back into... There it is. It went to combiner. Wait. Compactor, there it is. It's like the compactor. It puts it into niter. 
Okay, so we want compactor. So we want the compactor here. So this can go... Whoa. Okay, so... Uh, oh, that's convenient, actually. Uh, we'll lock the recipe. Close the recipe selection. Input and output. So it, uh, pull from that side. This side uh, pushes to... Wait. Oh, south and north. I wasn't even doing it right. I honestly felt... Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, south it pushes, and then... Yeah, <laughs> I just had to make sure. I had to make sure. Uh, north it pulls. Okay. Is it doing it right? Hello? You're not helpful at all. You know what? You're not helpful. I'm just going to do it manually. It saves trouble, because we're going to be stopping it anyway. So... With that, we can now actually make the niter dust, which can be turned into saltpeter seeds. I mean, it's exactly what we're doing. We're just going to put it into seed form. I don't want to do that too much. I'll be honest with you. We did it. We started at least, technically. Don't ask, because yes, I did put it into the um, crafting of making the seeds without, re without you know, actually crushing it down to its little, the, the, the dust form. Uh-huh. I... I I don't even know what I was thinking there. I just did it without even hesitating. I just said, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Boop. Done. Uh, it doesn't, why is it not working? Why is it not working? Oh, maybe because it's not supposed to. All right. What was it called again? Niter dust. There it is. So I put that in the system. Please get out of the way. Please. Okay. With that, we're going to have salt peter seeds. So... Wait for that to go. And now we have saltpeter seeds, which allows us to do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Which we can actually upgrade to the next tier, too, of the other one, too. The, uh, whatever you call it. Give me that. Uh, the next, uh, amp. Not amp. Uh, not amp. Okay. Which one has no coal in it? Something around here has no coal in it. The, uh, next component. Because we do have the availability of getting shulkers. We do have this. And this should just be... Why did I do this? Should just be gold dust, uh, of course, chorus fruit, and alf, um, uh, amethyst, which we don't have being made, which we can start doing, I guess. Uh, of course. We'll do that here, but we have what we wanted right now. We have the salt pita essence, which we can shove into... What are the reasons this for? This is for only making nitrate or potassium nitrate dust. Uh... We don't want that. Uh, this is what we want. So we want the one. So we're going to shove this into here. We should automatically put that in there and then do the normal thing like this. Grab that. And then have it hooked back up again. Oh, not everything is going in the wrong direction. I don't know where everything went. Um, you know what? Here's an idea. Take everything. Take everything out. Take everything out. And then just shove it right back into the computer system. It's exactly how this works. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe how fast it went through the system. Actually, what am I talking about? I can definitely believe that. All right, now with that, just up here, hook this up, and then it goes into the system automatically, and then the saltpeter will be the... I took one out. Oh, no, wait. I took one out to put something else in, didn't I? Wait a second here. I swear I took out one... Wait a second. I'm confused. Which one was a part of? It was this one. It was the wrong one. It knew. It knew all along which one was the real one. Which one was needed. Give me that. Give me that. You know what? Just do this again. Just do it like we did the other one, and then do it like this. So there we go. Now we have... Now that we actually have what we needed... Wait a second. Wait a second. There we go. Now we actually have what we needed. Woo! I'm just going to put that in the, the thing downstairs, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so now while we're doing that, we also have some other business to take care of, which involves us getting wither skeleton stuff. Uh, we're going to need a couple of this. On. We're going to need... I don't know exactly. We're just going to grab a bunch. Uh, we're going to need some soul sand, because we are going to be making some wither seeds. Wither seeds? Another, another seed. Another star seeds? Wither star seeds. The seeds. All the seeds. Thank you. And then we'll wait for that to do its thing. And then we'll just do that. Uh, and now we can just do this. Okay, just gonna back away. I actually did forget to turn down some sounds, so things are probably gonna be really loud over there. Oh, uh, I forgot to add. Actually, this works out pretty well. It is good. Wow, this is really loud. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over. Okay, and we go one, four, one, two, three, four. Goodbye. That was easy. Your first receptacle. Oh, no, please, no. Whatever. 
So now we go the essence of the undead miniature yellow heart familiar. We can also make an automatic version of this because we probably want miniature hearts later. I assume these are probably useful for something. I could only imagine that they're probably useful for something. The blade. The blade. Okay, they're completely useless. Okay, but there we go. So I need like at least three more. Three more to start the uh, wither skeleton. I said wither skeleton seeds again. Another star seed, so. Oh, no, I gotta do this a couple more times. At least it goes pretty quickly with it. And there we go. I even went the extra little I went the extra little bit and even go on so far wither upgraded too. So there we go. So now we can put that in the machine over there and, and get free wither stars that way as well. So we're getting on our what? But the main way I want to do it is just using seeds, I guess. Just to do it that way, just to get it over with. But we'll need the tier six, which means we'll need insanium, which is not like it's that hard to get. It's just a bunch of crafting, which... Okay. Really? Really? <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you for that one. And then we'll have... There we go. So there we go. Four. It's not like, not like it's that bad. Just more annoying than anything. Uh, put that there. Put that... No, 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 no. Put that away. And we'll grab ourselves some crafting seeds. We'll grab some of these. I'm gonna have to get more of these again. And... Here we go. And the nether star seeds. The quote unquote better seeds. We're gonna need the others. We need the, uh, what is it called? The, the dracon, the dragon seed. The dra I wasn't paying attention. We need the dragon seeds, so we'll, we'll need that too eventually. So that, that, that could become later. Yeah, it'll become later. I did not mean to do that. We'll need it for the uh, essence of the dragon essence. We'll need it for stuff. So here we go. And move. Thank you. And also, we can actually make some things now. So we have some stuff ready to go. So we go that. Uh, we're going to have to make a whole new one for this one because this is going to have to have dual crafting in it. So, And this one's full. So uh, it's going to go here anyways, but it, well, it charges up. We have to wait for it anyway, so it doesn't matter as much. But the nice thing is we can actually, we can't make these yet because uh, we have to wait. But amp, we can make ourselves the enderium one. So let's make, I would say like, let's make like, 50 which can be done it can be done and there we go now we just gotta wait for this and we'll have our first i guess we could have the other ones but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter we don't need to go through the tiers okay just because it took forever to do i slowed it down just a little i, I, I took it out a little bit because it was going a little too much uh so we're gonna shove that in there and we're gonna take this out we're gonna shove that in there so remember the ones it's going a little too hard because it's trying to two of these at the same time and it wasn't enjoying that it was not having a good time so i feel like i'm gonna have to make a second pulverizer because of the reasoning that just happened great i love it so we can make another two can i have my pickaxe back please i don't know how i always somehow do this but yeah this is the problem is it's just it's just putting in it's just putting way too much stuff in there so there's that so now that's going really fast so what happens if we make 10 more how fast does it go Decently fast, decently fast. It's still not as fast as I want it to be. Which means, uh, why did I put that there? That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. And we should be able to make ourselves a component. Did I not? I didn't put them in the computer. I forgot to put them in the computer. And I'll put that in there now because I actually forgot to do that. Uh, we'll go over here and put these in this computer. Uh, I'll probably do a second pulverize. I'll think about it. I'm probably going to have to. Okay, so now I put in a second one, and I made it a little bit better. So now we're going to make something stuff for us. We're going to make these two new, uh, what do you call this, Mel Melo Melodic? Integrated components. Uh, this one shouldn't be that bad. It should be pretty much simple. Oh, my. And I ran into the second problem. So I made a, a second pulverizer. But now we're running into another problem is where we need <laughs> these. Three of these. Ah. I wish, I wish it could be like how, like, create is it could just be a little bit more room that's unfortunate oh no wait can i even make gold dust i didn't even realize can i even make oh yeah we can i was about to say can we even make gold dust on that point i didn't know if we could or not there we go our first melodic yep that yep just that one so the next one is stellarium which is involving and in doing a star which we could make uh is there anything higher than that? i don't remember i don't think there is new no. that is the highest tier which we could actually do if we wanted to so we're going to put that in there, and we only have two, so that's going there, there. I'm going to make a second induction smiter and kind of do the another pulverizer like that. That's kind of, like, not exactly, doing exactly like we did that one. Uh, okay, 
And for the next tier of... Oh, there it goes away. And for the next tier of this thing, well, we can do it. Uh, but I think right now I'm going to wait on that one. Just until our nether star goes up a little higher than that. But we can make this one... I clicked the wrong one. We can make this one. The, the shell light's easy. The shell light is literally just, you know, appetite, shulker shells, and bronze, which we have each of them. And this one, it just involves doing cinnabar, butt dust. And this one, you can just do with mercury sulfite. Mercury sulfite comes from the red dye. So that one's pretty much easy. We can we can do that pretty easy. I have an idea with that one. We're just going to make a beetroot farm. Well, beetroot farm. We're going to put beetroots in the farm thing over there. And then we'll just do that with this. Or we could do... We could do dye essence. Actually, I feel like this is a better way to go. We're going to do that. That'd probably be better because it would make more sense. It would make way more sense. And our UU, we can actually make our literally first piece of iridium. And that's it. That's all we can do. That's as far as it lets us get. That's nice. You see how many we need? We need so many just to keep continuing on. So that's going to be left on for a little bit. So that's going to be left on for... So long. So let that go. Oh, so I'm going to put that back into our deep learner so I don't forget where I put that for now. So that's nice. So that's going to be a lot of extra work. So our generator, hopefully our reactor is doing fine over here. I have no idea. I haven't checked on it since then. I really, really hope it's doing fine. I don't want to mess with it too much. I feel like I'm going to have to. Hello there. Oh, you're doing fine. That's what I like to hear. You like to hear. Uh, have fun with that. It's doing good. It's doing real good. Well, with that, we're going to call it there for today. We got some stuff done. We got you, you matter. And that was kind of the entire purpose of this episode. So we did it. That's all that matters. And we also got some new upgrades for our new machine. Our new machines, quote unquote. Or machines. So we're good to go. So hope to see everybody next time. We're going to go even farther beyond. See everybody later. Bye.